So October is upon us and Coffee Lake has been released, but it doesn't even matter because today we are going use PC parts hunting on Gumtree and we're gonna try and find some bargains. But as I hinted in the thumbnail, someone on Gumtree has called me out. They said, look, Brian, I have a GTX 1060 just for you. So we're gonna actually give him a call and see if we can spin such a bogan voice off that he doesn't recognize that it's actually me at first. So we're gonna do that. And already before I started this month on the PC parts hunt, a bargain came to me. I was selling a laptop and when I sold it, the person said, would you take any of these old PC parts I have here? They don't work. And I took a look and two of them were just old dinosaurs, but one of them was an i7-3770 with a motherboard cooler, had a refurbished power supply. So I figured straight away that the parts inside probably worked really well. And you've probably seen that video already on the channel. So we got that for $50, which was absolutely amazing. And then also this month, two subscribers have given me PC parts already. So I've got two X5670s, which got given to me at the EB Expo Games Conference, which I'll talk a little bit later in today's vlog. So big thank you to Rob. And also I met with Madden today and he dropped me off some DDR3 memory, actually quite a lot of it, and an i5-750. So I'll be sure to put those to the test in the next Can Yes Fix It episode. And also a subscriber over in the States is sending me over an EVGA SR2. So there's a lot of used PC parts coming in, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. But with that said, let's get on with this used PC parts hunt. So the first deal we have up here is from a user called Kalani. He is calling me out specifically with a GTX 1063 gigabyte. He's paid $269 for it and he wants 200 Australian dollars. So I'm gonna give him a ring and see if he'll take 170. But the trick here is I'm gonna put on a tough Bogan accent. It's gonna be so tough that hopefully Kalani won't recognize it. So let's give this a call. This is Kalani. Okay, so Kalani did not pick up the phone. We're gonna try and call again later. So the next deal we got up here is a whole desktop PC. It's got an i3 in it, so it could be at the very worst a Gen 1 i3, and in that case, we can put a Xeon X3450 in this thing. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive. Of course, you get the case. You get a Quadro with it as well. So it does look like a pretty good deal for 150, though I'm gonna go in and try and offer $100 and see if they will take it. Hello, Matt speaking. Hey, Matt, how are you, mate? Hey. Yeah, I saw you out on Gumtree for a uh, computer desktop. Yep. Yeah, and I have three uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. Yep. Yeah, mate, I'm in Highland Park too. I could come pick her up for a hundred bucks if you're all good. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll be home in maybe an hour or so. Um, do you want to just give me a call back around four-ish and I'll see where I'm at? Yeah, no worries, mate. I just, do you, if you want to just text us the address and the time you're ready and I can come pick her up. Yeah, no worries. Once I know, I'm just um, down in Miami at the moment, so once I know when I'm going to be, when, when I'm back, I'll shoot you a message. No worries, mate. Thanks. All right, cheers, mate. All right, cheers, Matt. Bye. So we just got off the phone with Matt and he seemed pretty keen to take $100. I don't know if he actually heard that properly, but he's going to text us when he gets back. Um, didn't actually sound too promising, but hopefully we can get this deal for $100 because it looks really good. We just slap a GPU in there and a better CPU and we've got one really good price performance gaming PC. So the next deal we've got up here is a GTX 780, four gigabyte. I don't believe they ever made a GTX 780 with four gigabytes of memory. I think it was only three gigabytes on the 780. So not exactly sure what's going on there. If, at best, if they did have one, it would have been six gigabytes, but He's asking $160, so I'm actually gonna ring him up and question him about this 780 and actually find out if it's not a 770. And if it's actually a 780, I'm gonna drop in an offer of $130 and see if he'll take it, and then we will go pick it up if we're successful. Evening's available right now. Please leave a detailed message after the tone. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. <laughs> Okay, so Daniel didn't pick up the phone. So that's two people who haven't picked up their phones on a Sunday. What's going on, guys? This is like the day to pick up your phone and sort of do bargain hunting. Two out of three not picked up their phone. Maybe they know I'm trying to call them and they don't want the bogan hunting the deals. 
So next deal we got up here is a GTX 970 for $300. We're gonna give them a call and see if they'll take 200 for their lovely G1 GTX 970. Mm, it appears that the person you were trying to call does not have an active voicemail box. You could... Hello, Glenn speaking. Hi, Glenn, how you going, mate? Good. Yeah, I saw you out on Gumtree for a uh, GTX 970. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, you got 300 on it, but would you take 200? Um, oh, if you met me halfway, I might consider it. Yeah, no worries, mate. I'm just on the Gold Coast, too. I'm up in Highland Park. Yeah, no, I meant halfway in price. Oh, for 250. Oh, yeah, oh, mate. It's just a. You can go get the uh, you can go get those uh, what do they call them the uh, ten sixties and they're about the same. Yeah, the ten sixties are pretty much rubbish though. Oh really? I just one of my mates said they were about the same as a nine seventy, and but you can pick the nine seventies up used and save a bit of money, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, the G ones especially they're the best of the nine uh, seventies, and yeah, they'll smash the ten sixties. Oh, so you want about 250 and you won't go any lower? Uh, no, I've got 300 on it. Um, I bought it for 470 uh, about nine months ago, so no. Nah. Okay, mate. No, Definitely I thought... no lower than 250. Yeah, I'll just give me mate a call and I'll get back to you and see if that's a good deal, mate. All right, no worries. No worries, Glenn. Thanks for that, mate. Cheers, mate. See ya. Bye. So, Glenn wanted $250 for his uh, G1 GTX 970. Now, the G1 is actually a really good 970. I will give him that. They were binned uh, over the typical 970s, or at least a lot of people were getting really high overclocks on the 970s, but calling the 1060 trash or rubbish is really not that valid of a comment. I mean, the 1060, even the three gigabyte, is roughly the same as a 970 performance. Uh, the VRAM's roughly the same too. So yeah, I'm pretty strong on that 200 Australian dollar price point. I won't go for 250, it's not worth it, especially when you can go out and get a 1060 brand new with warranty for yeah, around 270 Australian dollars. So 200 is the lowest I'll go. Um, and nine months ago, I believe the 1060s were out before then. So paying 470 for a 970 nine months ago was really a bad deal on Glenn's behalf. But anyway, let's go for the last deal we've got up here and then see if those other people will call back as well. So the last of the deals that we're gonna call for is the R9 280. He's asking 150 Australian, which is a little bit too much for an R9 280. I believe they perform somewhere similar to like a HD 7950. So we're gonna come in at around $90 as it is the VaporX model. It is really nice if it is working and $90, I think, I think he might take it if I try and convince him enough. Hi, you've reached Daryl. I can't reach the phone right now. If you leave your name number, I'll call you back. <laughs> oh, Jesus, so no one is picking up their phone today. It's frustrating because it is a Sunday and I want to hunt some deals. So we're just going to drop in offers on all these um, parts that people didn't pick up the phones for. And hopefully that guy with the i3 desktop PC comes back and he's actually keen to follow through with that deal because I've got to get some deal this month. There has to be something I can pick up. Otherwise, we're gonna to have to postpone this because I can't do a used parts hunt without hunting anything. So here's actually an interesting deal here that they haven't put a number for, but they're asking for $75 and they are negotiable. So that's an R9 270X, uh, which is similar to a 7870. Uh, I think an offer of $60 would be pretty fair because this looks like a decent card for 60 Australian dollars. So I can definitely use this in a budget build. So while we're not so busy waiting for the people to get back to us, whether they want to take the offers or if they just want to call us back for the deals, I thought I'd talk about what happened yesterday here on the Gold Coast, which is my hometown, and that is the EB Games Expo. Now, EB Games is a company in Australia, a retailer of games. I believe they're owned by GameStop in the US, and now they held this big event at the convention center on the Gold Coast, and it was just awesome, except for the horrendously long queue times. If I had to complain about one thing, it would be those queue times. They were actually pretty bad. Uh, but besides that, I got to try out the new Wolfenstein 2, 
and that was just really good. It comes out in the next couple of weeks. I'm definitely gonna be buying it. It reminds me of the new order, just that story is just there. It just really sucks you in from the get-go. It's awesome. I can't recommend it enough. I'm definitely gonna be playing it very soon. And also my brother bought me a ticket. So you're probably wondering like, why would I be going to like a console games event? Uh, my brother bought me a ticket. He absolutely loved console games. So he was like begging me to go and I was like, sure, I'll tag along. And while I was there, I met a subscriber from Coffs Harbor, as I said in the intro, Rob. He brought us some Xeons, some X5670s. He brought us two of them. And it was just really, I wouldn't call it weird. It was just awesome. It was just really unexpected. Gave us a couple of Xeons. And man, you guys know me, I love my Xeons. And in this case, it was kind of like giving an addict a fix. And of course, it doesn't matter if I'm an event or if I'm used PC parts hunting, I don't really care. I'm always on the hunt for a deal. And when I was at the EB Games Expo, they had this mega store, which was really cool. And inside that store, they had t-shirts going for $4 a pop, Australian dollars. So my clothes shopping is done for 2017. I've filled my whole wardrobe with new threads, 26 Australian dollars in total. Actually wearing one of these t-shirts right now. And actually another funny thing happened. I bought a t-shirt for my brother and this is what happened when I went to give it to him. And it's mine now. Why did you take the t-shirt? Because I'm dead man. So on all the event was a lot of fun though. It was really busy. And also thanks to all the people who came up and shook my hand and said, hello, love you guys. Thanks for watching the content. Really means a lot to me. But also the last deal we got, I forgot to talk about it, was Farm Simulator 2017. I got this for 19 AUD. Uh, it's a collector's edition, so it comes with some few extras, but I was gonna do a gaming PC on this particular game. But when I looked at the minimum system requirements, it runs on a two gigahertz dual core and two gigabytes of RAM. So basically you could run this thing on mashed potatoes and you'll be absolutely fine. So if you guys wanna see a PC like that, let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking something like a Minesweeper PC, Solitaire and Farm Simulator 2017 on this rig. So anyway guys, I just got back from picking up the i3 system. Well, actually got back a little while ago and met up with Matt. He was actually a subscriber of the channel and watches my content. So I dropped the Bogan act, of course. When I go pick up all these PC parts, I do drop that Bogan voice, whether it's the tough Bogan or the surfy Bogan. Uh, and people aren't surprised. I think in Australia, no one really cares. Like as long as you're not attacking someone, everyone's pretty easy going in Oz. Like I really love the culture, especially on the Gold Coast. Uh, so yeah, it just I dropped the act, no worries about that. But what we picked up here, the i3 system, it was really surprising because the motherboard is literally brand new. Like, I'm pretty sure this motherboard is brand new. It's a P55 UD3R from Gigabyte. And now the UD3R on the P55 line and also the X58 line, they were just when Gigabyte were getting it right in terms of mid-range motherboards. They were hitting the VRM hard. The motherboards were made so well. The BIOS was awesome. I'd like to see Gigabyte bring this formula back in their new age motherboards. I think they've sort of like lost focus and focused on things like RGB when they should be focusing on the UD3R formula. I absolutely loved it. Uh, so I took this motherboard out. I cleaned up this PC and then I looked at the motherboard. I was like, this is like brand new. So I took it out. I'm gonna be using it in a future comparison. So there's a little hint. And that's gonna be one that I'm using with a Xeon. Gonna be comparing it to some new age CPUs, so I can't wait to do that. And then we replaced it with a Z68 motherboard. And this is actually another video idea that's coming. So two video ideas came out of just picking up this i3. So crazy thoughts are going through my head at the moment. And we put in the zip tie cooler on the Z68 motherboard with the four pin connector, 2500K, bang job power supply. This thing is like 25 amps, never heard of the brand before. So this is gonna make for a really cool video. I think you guys already know where I'm going with this. And the other parts, what about the people with the other offers? Uh, the guy who called me out on Gumtree, he responded and said he was actually at work. So he's gonna get back to me, but it's already like 8 p.m. at night. So I'm still waiting. Um, the other offers, one guy came back and said he already sold the R9 280. And some of the other offers just haven't come back at all. So don't know what's going on there. Uh, but at least I got this deal here. The i3 machine was pretty good. We got a really good case, awesome motherboard, like brand new motherboard. Um, got the stock cooler in the i3, which weren't that good, but eight gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, 
that's always a pretty good deal for around about 80 USD. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know, actually don't, don't let me know in the comment section below because we only got one deal today. So I was gonna ask, let me know the favorite deal of the month, but yeah, there was only one deal. So kind of sucks that we didn't get more deals, but I was pretty happy that at least we got something. And also that deal earlier, before this video, the i7-3770, that was a really good deal. Uh, the charger as well, the things this month, some two really bizarre things happened in the same day. And one was like this charger I bought off eBay for these batteries. It's like combusted or imploded. I've never seen anything like it before. And then also the monitor that I was using on my Sony, I bought both these things off eBay and it was like a Viltrox and it just switched off and it doesn't work anymore. So <laughs> I've requested a refund on both those things. I've only been using, I've only had them both for like a week and 10 days or whatever. So really crazy. I mean, you gotta be careful with some of that stuff you buy off on eBay. Uh, especially if it's like a no-name brand that you've never heard before, but yeah, that sucks. I'll get them replaced so I get ready for packs and I'll have the gear ready to give you guys some awesome coverage. Anyway, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.